Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Angie. For those who are new to my channel, our Lord asked me to do a video each day, and that's what I'm doing in obedience to Him. It was His idea, not mine. I share by unction of His Spirit each day. I wait upon Him to hear what He wants me to share for all those whom He's going to lead to watch these videos. He knows what you need. He's a father who cares. He loves us. If you're watching this video, it's not an accident. <laughs> you didn't just happen to come across it. Father wants you to see it. Yesterday I shared a prayer of repentance unto God. A true repentance of one's heart unto to our Lord. Today is another important prayer he has given me to share for all his children. It's a prayer of forgiveness. Forgiveness toward others, yes. Forgiveness toward ourselves. Forgiveness toward God. I'll explain it. I'll read out what I have here typed out ready. I'll explain it and lead you in this very powerful prayer. I know hearts are going to be set free and healing is going to come. Restoration is going to come. So Holy Spirit, this is another important prayer that I'm sharing by your leading, your unction. You're the one that gave me this prayer. Father is highlighting the need for his children around the world to forgive a life lived of forgiveness true humility unto him so please Holy Spirit touch all those who are watching this video right now minister to their hearts touch them where they're at you know what's happening in their lives enable them please reveal anything that's going to hinder distract or prevent them hearing and receiving this from you Thank you, Holy Spirit. Just blow upon them. Let your breath come upon them. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Touch them where they're at. Thank you. Bless you, Holy Spirit. He's doing that. He's been released and doing that right now. Some of you might just suddenly felt a peace just come upon you. That's him. That's the presence of our beautiful Lord. The Spirit of the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Hallelujah. It's 2 Corinthians 3.17. All right. Are you ready to hear from him? Not me. Hear it from him, please. It's his idea for these videos, not mine. <laughs> God bless you all who are following this channel an incredible journey we're on with him truly we're blessed okay if you need a heading it's going to be prayer or forgiveness toward yourself others and God I'm going to read out Matthew 18 verse 21 then Peter came to him Lord Jesus Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times. Jesus said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to seventy times seven. Hallelujah. There's a grace of God and empowerment by the Holy Spirit to forgive. Up to 70 times 7 each day if needed. How many times it needs to be done. Deep in my spirit this morning, I heard the Spirit calling the children of God to forgive. God has highlighted the need for us all to live a life of forgiveness. It's ongoing. 70 
times seven. It's ongoing. It doesn't stop. It's a life of forgiveness. True forgiveness can only happen as we humble our hearts before God. Same as repentance. It's a humbling of our heart before God. Forgiveness toward others, toward ourselves, and toward God. We forgive because we have been forgiven by God through the death of his son, Jesus, who died on the cross for forgiveness of our sins. When we bow our knee before God in humility, that's true repentance in one's heart. We know we can receive forgiveness and that sin is blotted out by the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Freely we receive forgiveness, freely we forgive. When we humble ourselves before God, Holy Spirit can then move our hearts to extend forgiveness. It takes a humbling of one heart. It truly does. To lay it all down to our Lord, then Holy Spirit can move us to forgive. We forgive the person of the wrong we perceived has been done against us, whether it was done intentionally or unintentionally. In humility, no, we too might have done wrong against someone and forgive ourselves too. When we turn to God in humility, Holy Spirit is free to move and reveal if we have wronged someone within our hearts and enable us to repent for that wrong and extend forgiveness toward ourselves. It's important to forgive ourselves. To forgive God whom we may have felt wronged us by not doing things the way we thought he should or when we thought something should happen in our timing and it didn't. Or when things happened in our lives, in our loved ones' lives and in the world and we did not understand it. None of us are perfect yet. Hands up if you're perfect. Uh-uh. <laughs> None of us are perfect yet. We are all the workmanship of Holy Spirit, who is sanctifying us unto perfection in our Lord. Uh, read Ephesians 2.10 Knowing we are, are a work in progress is not an excuse to sin or do wrong or accept wrong by others, but an understanding we are still attaining to perfection and will not always get everything right. Mistakes can happen and we can do wrong. We forgive ourselves and forgive others. God can do no wrong. He is perfect in all his ways. It is our perception he has done wrong by us or by our loved ones or by what is happening in the world. We need to forgive ourselves for harboring resentment, offence, unforgiveness in our hearts toward him. Then we need to repent because God can do no wrong. When we forgive from our hearts, we are released from the burden of unforgiveness. Then Jesus can heal our hearts and freedom comes. Peace is restored. Hallelujah. I've seen the Lord's opened my eyes in the spiritual realm, what it looks like in the realm. When we have unforgiveness towards someone, ourselves or someone else, it's like a war appears in the realm. Something divides, something prevents the prevents us, the harboring of um, resentment and offense and unforgiveness in our hearts. A war is created in the spiritual realm. When we forgive, we are actually set free and that walk comes down. Hallelujah. This is a short but powerful prayer if spoken from a heart of true humility before God. Now, wait on Holy Spirit to minister to your heart first, asking him to bring to your mind those whom you need to forgive. I'm going to ask you all to do this in a moment. 
to lay down at the feet of Jesus. Whatever someone you perceive has done wrong against you, and leave it with him. To pray for that person in love, releasing them to him. Knowing it is not flesh and blood we wrestle against. We read Ephesians 6, 10 to 18. To reveal if you have unforgiveness toward yourself or toward God. After waiting on Holy Spirit to bring these things to your remembrance, to your heart, pray this prayer in humility before our Father who sees all. He has seen all the hurt we have suffered in our lives by the wrong done towards and against us. Whether it was intentional or not, it still affects us and he cares. He wants to heal our hearts and set us free, to have peace restored to our hearts and be at peace with ourselves, with one another and with him. To love him with all our heart, soul and strength. To love others and ourselves as he loves us. With no conditions attached. A love that is not conditional on how someone treats us or behaves toward us. A love that meets a person where they are at in their walk with our Saviour. Where they are at in, at, in their walk, whether they know Jesus yet or not. Amen. That's unconditional love. There's no conditions attached. It's not you speak this way toward me. You behave that way toward me today. I just I choose I don't love you anymore. No, I love you regardless. It's an everlasting love. It's a love that God has for us. It's everlasting. It doesn't stop. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. Hallelujah. I want you to wait, please. If you need to, just stop this video. But I want you to ask Holy Spirit whom you need to forgive. You need to forgive yourself. Forgive others. Forgive God. Just wait on him now. Write it down. Write a list if you need to. And then speak this prayer with me. I'm also going to put the prayer below in the description of this video. You can read it there, copy it, paste it, keep it, share this video, please, with others. Because it's important to God, therefore it's important to us, isn't it? Forgiveness can put a, a block, a war between us and God, others and ourselves. Unforgiveness. Unforgiveness can create a war in our hearts. And our hearts harden. A root of bitterness. I'm going to put a link in the description below this video to posts on my Angie Morris Facebook page um, about a root of bitterness and unforgiveness. God looks at our hearts. He cares about our hearts. And he wants us set free. He wants us healed to have peace. Okay, so I'm assuming now that you've stopped this video and you had time with Holy Spirit. You can say this prayer with me. It is powerful. I can feel the anointing on it. It's from Holy Spirit. I waited on him. I didn't write this out of my own unction. It comes from him. This is God moving for us. Okay. Are you ready? From your heart. From your heart. Holy Spirit, move everyone now to yield to you. Surrender their hearts to you. And from their hearts, truly speak this prayer. And when they're ready, Lord, if they're not ready right now, prepare, minister to their hearts. And lead them to speak this prayer when it's time. Thank you, Lord. Bless you, Holy Spirit, for moving upon them now. Bless you, Holy Spirit. Okay. Father, from my heart, I humble myself before you. I choose to forgive 
Now this is when you add the names of those whom you need to forgive. Four, now speak out what they did towards you. And continue. I release, name the people you just forgave. Say it out loud. Into your hands, Father. May your perfect will be done in their lives. I forgive myself for now speak out what you need to forgive yourself for whatever Holy Spirit brought to your mind to your remembrance to your heart forgive yourself what well, was against yourself against someone else you need to forgive yourself whatever you feel that you've done that wasn't right was wrong Okay. I forgive myself for now you speak that out I receive your forgiveness Father and know what was done is now under the blood of Jesus not something the enemy can use against me anymore I will no longer feel guilt shame or condemnation it is done in Jesus name well done. Let's keep going. Well done. Well done. Father, you can do no wrong and are perfect in all your ways. But whenever I felt you had wronged me or my loved ones or what is happening in the world, I forgive you thus releasing me of any hurt, offence, resentment or unforgiveness in my heart towards you. I repent from my heart, Father, for having any offence, resentment and unforgiveness in my heart at any time in my lifetime towards you in Jesus name I receive your forgiveness now thank you father well done I ask father for full healing to come to my heart now for freedom to come and peace be restored in my heart and in my life. Okay, I hear by um, Holy Spirit right now some of you might receive a healing in your body. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Bless you, Lord, for that. Oh, this is wonderful news. As you are forgiven him, forgiven yourself and forgiven others, healing will, some of you are going to experience healing in your body. Thank you, Lord. This is tears of happiness for you. And gratitude to him. Okay, let me go back to the prayer. Let's just do it again. Ready? I ask Father for full healing to come to my heart now for freedom to come and peace be restored in my heart and in my life just as you have forgiven me I choose to also forgive to walk in love and extend grace to all and toward myself. I love you, Father. Thank you for first loving me. 
Thank you for all you do in my life, in my loved one's lives, and in the world. I give you the praise. You are God, and there's no other God beside you. I choose to live a life of worship unto you. Please help me to walk in love and extend grace to all, in humility, knowing we are all the workmanship of your spirit as we keep yielding and surrendering to his ministrations of our hearts, enabling us to be like your son, to walk in his nature and character, so Jesus is seen in us. I commit this prayer into your hands, Father, in the beautiful name of my Lord Jesus, I pray. Amen. God bless you all. You spoke this prayer. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Let no good thing be held from you. The storehouses in heaven to pour upon you and your loved ones' lives. Everything under your stewardship be blessed to prosper. God bless you for being obedient to the leading of the Spirit of God. To live a life of forgiveness toward others, toward God, toward yourself. Up to 70 times 7 each day if need be. <laughs> There's a grace of God to do so as we turn to him. Forgiveness can only happen if we truly turn to God. Humble ourselves before him. Holy Spirit empower us. Enable us, move our hearts to forgive. The same as repentance. I can feel Holy Spirit moving. And I know some of you, oh Lord, may all of them receive a healing in their bodies for a true repentance unto you, for forgiving you, forgiving themselves, forgiving others. That all walls in their hearts come down now that will defend themselves, protect themselves against others, against hurt, disappointment, betrayal, rejection, whether being real or perceived. So those walls will come down now. Holy Spirit, minister to their hearts, please. Full freedom to come. Restoration to come in their bodies and in their lives. Peace be restored. Reconciliation. Reconciliation. Please release that anointing for reconciliation, Holy Spirit. Peace. Unity in the Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, that you're powerful upon them, Holy Spirit. Oh, please bless them for what they just did. Father, I thank you for full freedom to come to your children. Healing, they be restored. I thank you for this, Father. I thank you for this, Father, what you're doing for your children right now. And let this be a ripple effect in their homes, their household, their loved ones. For the rest of their lives until Jesus returns, for us all, his bride. That we all live a life extending forgiveness, grace toward one another, toward ourselves. A true heart of repentance, turning to God, bowing our knee to him, a life of worship unto him. I thank you for this, Father. 
And if we have an agreement of the Spirit of God, Amen. Amen. The two if we come together in agreement with the Spirit of God, it will be done for us. In the name of Jesus, in His name, by the Father, it will be done. We thank you for this, Father. We thank you for this, Father. In Jesus' name. God bless you all. I look forward to seeing you all in tomorrow's video. God bless and keep you and your loved ones. Amen, amen. Bye-bye.